first at 10, we begin with some breaking news tonight. Union workers at Arconic have voted in favor of a four year contract agreement and will not go on strike following today's vote. The results coming in within the last hour and a half. According to the local union president, 60% of United Steelworkers across four states voted to approve the agreement. And joining us now with continuing coverage is News 8 Shelby Kluver. And Shelby, this vote was closer than what many union leaders made it sound online. Exactly. Just a few weeks ago, USW members at Arconic voted overwhelmingly to authorize a strike if a first contract couldn't be reached. And after the recent strikes at Deer and Company and Eaton, there was a feeling another one of the Quad City's largest employers could be dealing with a walkout. However, just enough workers today voted to accept these terms. For 14 hours, United Steelworkers filed in and out of the Bettendorf voting site, casting a ballot on a new contract agreement. Just under 3,400 USW members across four states were able to participate in Wednesday's vote. Shortly after polls closed, Local 105 President Patrick Stock confirmed to News 8 that the agreement was ratified with 60% yes votes. It only needed a simple majority to pass. Now, workers at Arconic have a four-year agreement with a $4,000 essential worker bonus, improved pensions, and an added holiday on Martin Luther King Jr. Day. Wages will also be increased by 7% the first year and 4.5% a year for the next three years. However, there were no changes to health care, and Arconic's performance pay plan, which many workers relied on, is now eliminated. Both of those issues were top of mind for many employees and prompted online backlash when the contract details were announced in mid-May. So far, USW leaders are not disclosing how many members turned out for the vote or how each of Arconic's four USW locations voted. Davenport Works in Riverdale is by far the largest, containing more than half of all Arconic USW members. But one thing we do know, things are locked in at Arconic for the next four years. And under this new agreement, this is how some of the wages for Arconic workers will break down. So workers at the bottom of Arconic's pay scale, making roughly $23 an hour, will be making just under $25 an hour by 2023. And at the very top of Arconic's pay scale, those making just under $35 an hour now will make more than $42.5 by 2025. And we should point out with the 60% ratification number, that means this contract only passed by about 300 votes. Devin? All right, Shelby, you've been on top of it. Thank you for that coverage. And in response to tonight's results, Arconic tells us we are pleased that our USW represented employees at Arconic's master contract locations ratified the agreement tonight. It goes on to say the new co uh, collective bargaining agreement covers about 3,400 employees and runs through May 15th, 2026.